Türü. So I was asked to do a comparison video um, on aluminum with two different types of fillers. Well, you really ask just what filler do you use on aluminum, especially for intercooler piping and you know stuff like that, um, auto more more automotive stuff. You know, not a whole bunch of 3003, but it applies in the same way. So both of these were done on the exact same settings the only change is the filler rods so this bottom one is done with 40 43 top one 53 56 now I always tell people on mode world to generally run 53 56 I like how hard it is and on top of that you can anodize 53 56 that is the biggest part if you give a part to somebody and um, you just welded up some super you know, nice uh, water pump housing or something like that. They go get it anodized and the finish comes out completely fucked up. Well, that's probably because you or whoever did it used 4043. So on top of that, um, another nice thing is you can see, you know, this is uh, pretty nice, you know, pretty uh, relatively uh, free of any kind of imperfections. Well, if we move to this one, it looked nice from back there. You roll up on it, it's got all these little speckles and you know marks in it. I I I do weld a lot of things with 4043, and there are times when that never happens. And you know, I guess it's so minute that you'd never notice it. Well, on the type of stuff that we do mostly for automotive, you know, eighth inch and down. You can really start to see that, and when you're trying to get all the way around a pipe, a nice, seamless, smooth part, um, really the only thing you're going to want to be using is 5356. So this was done at 109 amps, 68% cleaning, 130 hertz, which is not what I usually weld at, but it was already on the machine, 17 CFH, the CK worldwide FL-130 and an edge welding cup GL-7 um, and that's a CK gas lens as well machine it's a Rebel 205 AC-DC and uh, that's all there is that's all I gotta say about uh, aluminum rods which ones to use so